right, we're back again, me and my wife. There we go. Um, and it's our anniversary day, so we thought what better way to celebrate than to do another video together. Um, today we are doing zoologist, which is known for being, I mean, they got some crazy scents and intense and very polarizing, so we'll see how this goes. To make it shorter for you guys, we're gonna do three scents in this video, and then we'll come back with part two and do four more scents. Haven't um, we done zoologist before? We have. Well, yeah. uh, do we haven't done a video, I don't believe. Thought we We've had. No, this was years ago, and these are new scents. I think all but one we've never smelled before. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, if you don't know, zoologist is based on animals, and it's based on what they eat and where they live and things like that. Um, so this one is beaver. Uh, top notes are fresh outdoor air, linden blossom, wood shavings, wild vegetation. Heart notes are damp air, dry wood, light musk, and water. I don't know what my water smells like. Uh, base notes, heavy musk, dark woods, vanilla, amber. Uh, and it's got a little story there. Um, I like to read the stories in the past, but it gets a little long, so you can probably look it up on their uh, website if it's something you're interested in. Oh, and I will say, we've got a few a few guests in the in the, today's video, so look forward to that. Oh, so I'll say most. I, I think when we we smelled a bunch of uh, zoologists before, and I don't think a single one you'd want me to buy and wear around you. No. While a couple of them I liked beaver, though. Wow, this is pleasant. What it is, is. What's coming this way is not that bad. It's fresh. It's a little bit sweet. I would get the water, the air. I would say maybe more feminine, actually, than male. Yeah. I don't think it's a male scent at all. But just, yeah, just kind of bad. maybe a little lotion-y smelling. Right. There you go. That's a shocker. That's a... Yeah, in the past, I've not liked any of the zoologist scents, but this one is tolerable. Smells like dirt. And man. Mm, it smells like man. Yeah, okay, well, hold on. Next is camel. <laughs> so, camel top notes of dried fruits, palm date, frankincense, and rose. Heart of amber, cedar, cinnamon, orange blossom, jasmine, myrrh, and incense. And base notes of civet, mu civet musk, sandalwood, oud, tonka, oh vanilla, and vetiver. Oh, that one is all over the place. It's um, a mishmash of too much. I love me some oud. We'll see how this goes. So this one is camel. That's not bad either. This is one. Oh, that's good. I would certainly wear this one. I don't know what happened. It seems like zoologists maybe, uh, maybe they were not selling as much as they would like to, being kind of out there their on the perfume maker. I don't know. It does. It does tell you. I can see you wear this, but I wouldn't like it. Uh oh. And there's actually different perfume makers. So Beaver was Chris Bartlett. And camel was Christian Corbanel. So a lot of the musk oud. Yeah, I, think, I can I can tell this is one you like, but I don't. Yeah. So I think the base notes come through quick on that one. But it's not out there. It is a rich, warm, manly scent, but not crazy. Oh it smells like hay. Like it smells like fruit. Dried fruit. This is spicy. This is spicy. This is hot for my nose. All right. This last one is one that we had smelled before. Um, civet. It was out there at the time. Uh, bergamot, black pepper, lemon, orange, spices, and tarragon. Heart notes of carnation, heliotrope, hyacinth, tuberose, lang. Base notes of... Uh, 
balsam, civet, coffee, incense, lab, labdomum, musks, resins, Russian leather, vanilla, vetiver, and woods. Started good and ended <laughs> bad. Well, it depends who it's for. I like the leather and woods. All right. So civet. This is one of their, this has been around a long time. Mm. Wow, that's interesting. I get almost like um, musk and amber, like a, that rich, rich warm, but with like a, I don't think I said rose. There's some kind of a floral in there. I, I you get know. all musk. I don't remember what it smelled like before. I don't think I would have bought it before. This one. And still don't buy it. Uh oh. I, I, I think of old, old person. That's not very nice to say on video. There could be old people watching. No, but no, 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 not. I don't mean it in that way, but it's hmm. just no. Yeah, it is interesting. It's it's this weird combination between musky, deep, powdery, but uh, I was gonna say also with like this powder note. It's 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 very complex. I'll give them that. That these are not single note, boring scents at all. Okay. Okay. It smells like black licorice. <laughs> um, wait. No. So there you go. That's end of part one. Come see us on part two for four more cents. This one it smells like old men. Oh my gosh.